Parasite the Maxim is rarer than Diamond. It's a completed anime that reached classic status in just 24 episodes. It's like the blue meth in Breaking Bad. Top tier stuff. The story is about alien parasites that possess humans, turning them into shapeshifting killing machines. The main character gets an alien in his hand, and he has to navigate life working with it and fighting against other parasites. The concept of a main character who becomes half monster and has to fight against other monsters sounds like Tokyo Ghoul, and I'm 99% sure that it was inspired by Parasite. They act like two legends cannot coexist. The first standout quality from Parasite is his character development. Shinichi, the protagonist, is forced into the world of Parasites when Migi, the Parasite, takes over his right hand. As the story progresses, Shinichi becomes more cold-hearted, like a Parasite, and Migi becomes more empathetic, like a human. These parallel arcs are written so well. Seeing the MC transform from a wimp to a soulless assassin was so satisfying, but also tragic, because neither of those sides were the ideal Shinichi. The events that push them down their respective paths make the journey believable. The way Shinichi's character design changes to reflect his psyche is really cool. The way the relationship develops between the two main characters is also excellent. They start off tolerating each other and working together out of necessity and slowly become something like friends. The supporting characters are also great. They all played solid roles to enhance the plot. Some notable ones are Morono, Ryoko, Shinichi's parents, and Kana. Some of them serve as reflections, some of them push characters down certain paths, and some of them serve as emotional anchors that humanize others. Speaking of characters, the character deaths in this anime really stood out to me. There aren't many stories that I can name where the deaths really felt impactful. When important characters die, they usually really leave a mark on Shinichi or whoever witnessed them. Certain deaths actually play important roles in Shinichi's character arc. The deaths also help increase the stakes and tension. When you see characters die, it allows the possibility of death to remain in future situations. It lets the audience know that there can be major consequences for failure. The music in this show is also wonderful. The opening. Fire. The ending. Fire. The OST. Fire. Someone arrest these people for arson, because you know they burned down the studio when recording this. Next to you is a standout song that could make any event sound tragic. The ending played as an insert song in one of the deaths, and the way it magnified the emotions of the scene is something that just has to be experienced. The plot is tightly written since it only has 24 episodes. Feels like so much got done. It never felt like my time was being wasted with any episode. The music also enhances the fights, which could be epic with the lightning speed shape-shifting blades. The story is also really good at diving into the horror side and making intense moments. My favorite example is the school incident. With the exception of the fantastical elements, it felt like an event that could actually happen in real life. In conclusion, Parasite is a classic. If you like Tokyo Ghoul, you'll definitely like this. It's not as complex when it comes to the setting, but it has enough similar elements to please fans of Ishida's work. Even if you don't care about Tokyo Ghoul, Parasite still stands proud on its own. If you haven't watched it yet, it's the right time. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.